everyone, I'm JD from Willow Bound Journals. Welcome back to my channel. I'm a journaler, journal maker, and teacher of journaling courses. And in this video, I've just got this magazine, the Daphne's Diary magazine. It's number one issue from 2022. And I'm just going to go through the leftover pages from, from it <laughs> and cut out anything that I want to use in my own personal journaling or other random projects. So I've already stripped the magazine of the covers to make some journal covers and then I have pulled out my favorite pages or the prettiest pages that go with the covers to make some journals and I have also pulled out some extra pages and posters and different pieces to make a third journal and now what's left over I'm just going to go through the rest of the magazine and pull out anything else that I would like to use and so I pulled out these teacups because they are so pretty and colourful. <laughs> um, but no, I love, there's certain things that I always look for when I um, flip through this magazine. And it's like bottles and glass bottles especially. Um, teacups, pretty decorative teacups, especially like those um, hand-painted china teacups. Uh, also, of course, flowers, birds and butterflies, but usually those are the first pages to go into my journals that I make. Um, but also pictures of uh, ladies or girls reading or creating. There's often cartoon pictures, like illustrated, drawn pictures of ladies like sitting down with a book or uh, sitting down or, or, or books, bookshelves and books in general. Um, I'll also pull out those types of pictures um, and I usually use those types of pictures to enhance my journaling page spreads. Um, so for example, if I'm going to be journaling about a book that I'm reading or my love of books, then I'll include something like this with the lady sitting in front of a bookshelf. And if I just want to decorate a page, like often in my Hobonichi Techo, my daily journal, I will have blank pages because not a lot happened in a day necessarily and so it's good just to have pretty pictures and pictures that I resonate with or that resonate with me to stick on the page even if it has nothing to do with <laughs> what I did that day or what I'm journaling about it's just nice to have pretty pictures and things that I like inside my journal to look at and enhance my journaling so I pulled out there wasn't yeah, there weren't as many things left over in the journal. I pretty much used all the pages that I liked in the journals that I'm making. So there wasn't a lot left over, but I thought this little lady with the magnifying glass that could be used on a page spread, maybe about searching, a journal entry about looking for something, um, or it could just be a cute little image to decorate a page in general. Or maybe it could be like a page. It, this is where I love why I love um, using magazines as well because they can spark the prompts. Usually, I will have what I'm journaling in mind already, and then I'll look for things to use to add to the page to go with it. But sometimes it works the opposite way. So, for example, that lady with the magnifying glass that could inspire me to journal about looking for inspiration. How fun would that be? And being a person who is always looking for the gold or being a person who is always looking for the good in life or a person who's always looking for the beauty. And yeah, uh, that could inspire, you know, right there, <laughs> pages of pages of um, journaling. So I love just having a basket of goodies next to me or on my desk or around me on my desk with words that I've cut out for magazines, pictures that I've cut out for magazines that I might not necessarily know what I want to do with, but I can rummage through there and they can spark a journaling prompt or if I already have journaled, they can add to my journaling. So yeah, that's just an idea. Um, I love using magazines for that reason. Um, if you've never used magazines, they're a great way to um, inspire journal page spreads. And then oh, I've also pulled out some full-size pages as well. Not necessarily for me to use in my journals, but to use in other journals. They just didn't suit the particular journals I was working on before because either the colour scheme didn't work or the style just didn't work. But I'll definitely put those aside for other Daphne's Diary journals that I'll make. 
and some of the full size ones I want to use for my own journaling, like that mirror. I want to do an art journal page spread in an altered book with that one. Um, I want to get some white paint or something and paint over those faces and then do my own journaling inside that mirror. I think that would look cool. Oh, I've also got this week planner that Daphne Starry sent to me uh, last year and this is great. I love papers like this, note papers that you can just fold in half and add to a journal and it gives the journal a different size, like a different look with different size pages inside. So I just pulled out some of those to go in each of the journals that I'm working on. If you'd like to check out that series where I show you how I make those journals, um, you can check those out on my channel and also I've got some other Daphne's Diary series as well that I'm doing on my Patreon for my beautiful, beautiful patrons. And yeah, this one magazine got so much use out of it. Some magazines, some uh, issues, it's not my cup of tea like this. it's always beautiful but some of the pages they're just not speaking to me this one most of the pages spoke to me so that's a win <laughs> so go check out Daphne's diary I get it in a local news agent here in Australia but it can be hard to find not all news agents stock it um, but eBay I also have bought it from eBay as well and some people told me they've got it from Coles so hope you enjoyed that video and I'll see you in the next one bye a guys big special thank you to my beautiful patrons who supported me in February thank you thank you so much I could not do this without you it really means the absolute world to me and if you would like to become one of my patrons supporting my channel and Willow Band journals uh, you can do that the link is down below in the description box that's where you get access to more videos behind the scenes looks personal updates first access to my journals printables if you're a ruby patron or higher you get every single digital kit from my etsy plus one new one every month and you can also look in the descrip description box below for links to my instagram facebook group um uh, journal courses that i run and all the details are down there if you'd like to contact me you can do that with my email down below as well and may you journal your life because your stories matter